Hi, it's Lisa Salberg. I am the founder and CEO of the Hypertrophic Cardiomyopathy Association. And today I'm doing something a little bit different. Um, rather than writing a very long explanation of um, the movie, um, A Man Named Otto, um, which has been recently released. Um, the lead character is um, portrayed by Tom Hanks. And um, I want to give you a little bit of a feedback and maybe a book report or a movie report on, um, on the movie. And I've not read the book, but I understand the book has a different feel to it. And the reason I'm doing this video is to speak to the story of Otto as it's portrayed in this movie, as the lead character has been diagnosed with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. Um, I went to the movie alone the other night and, um, I am glad that I went alone. I'm going to be honest. I thought I was going to get aggravated or frustrated at an inaccurate depiction of my life and the life of those with HCM. So I wanted to know what I was up against. <laughs> um, I'm glad to say that I was completely wrong about all of my apprehensions. And in fact, I'm here to talk about how masterful the depiction of Otto was and maybe in ways that they didn't even anticipate or maybe they did and that's the brilliance behind the movie. Um, I'm going to pause right here and say if you want to watch the movie in real time and not be not have the surprises of a movie ruined, this is a spoiler alert. Please do not listen any further until you've seen the movie yourself and want to make your own um, judgment or give your own opinions. I don't want to ruin the movie for anybody. Um, but I will say this, and I will, I'm will i not going to talk about every part of the movie because I want you to go see it. And I want you to bring your friends and families to see it as well because the movie does some amazing things. Um, first of all, if you've seen the trailer, Otto's a grouch. And he's not a very nice person from the start of the movie. Um, social graces are a little bit off and he's angry at the world. And that's pretty obvious. Um, another trigger here is there are suicide attempts in this movie. Um, they have nothing to do with his underlying diagnosis. It has to do with his grief of his wife. Um, uh, and that's part of the process of this book or this movie. Um what I want to talk about is some of the tones that were in this movie that really resonate with me as an HCM patient, as an HCM family member, and as a woman who has represented this community for 27 years. The diagnosis scene, and I'm going to keep this, I don't want to spoil everything, so I'm trying to be cautious here. The diagnosis scene um, happens when he's young. Um, he, his mother's kind of already out of the picture. She's, she's gone. They don't really talk about her too much, um, but she's not in the picture. Dad is the caregiver and dad um, has passed away and he goes to the military and he's turned away because they tell him he has hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. The only flaw in this movie is in the year he was diagnosed, it would have been called idiopathic hypertrophic seborrheic stenosis. So um, I'll let them slide on that one. But that was about the only error that I could find in, in the, in the actual storyline. So the moment he is diagnosed and his, his career path, which he had planned to be the military or going into the military at that time, isn't going to happen because of his diagnosis. And he has to change his life. And he's scared, but he finds a way and he finds a partner and he finds a way to have a normal and happy life. Catastrophe strikes in other ways that have nothing to do with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. It's just life, which is part of the beauty of this movie. On top of everything else we deal with, with hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, we also are real people living real lives. And there's things outside of our heart disease that impact us. And life doesn't always go as we plan. 
And Otto's life did not go the way he thought it was going to go for reasons that are in the movie. And I'm not going to ruin that part. But then later in life, his HCM starts to become more symptomatic. And how he interacts with his friends and his found family, um, very reminiscent of so many families that I deal with every day. Um, he doesn't want to disclose too much. He doesn't want people to know his business, but he wants them to know there's something wrong. And the way he handles it is very real. It's it's the way a lot of um, HCM families choose to deal with their diagnosis. Some people know, not everybody does. It's private, but it's kind of in the smaller circle of our life, not in the big circle of our life. The way he handled that the communication was was just spot on. It's normal. Um, the other thing about his personality that comes out early in the movie is he's kind of like in charge of his HOA and he he's the president of the HOA for a while. And he's trying to keep things the way they were. And he's trying to make sure everybody follows the rules and everybody's playing by the same rules, which makes him look like a kind of a jerk most of the time. But there's some truth in that in in the HCM community and the chronic illness community. We want things to kind of just stay stay calm, stay normal. And we want to have control over something when we can't have control over our own health. So I know a lot of autos. I know a lot of people with HCM who are really trying to focus on what they can control, whether it's their health care, their job, their families. I've been witness to this many, many times. So that part of the movie is spot on as well. There comes time in the movie where Otto is having some symptoms related to his HCM. And some of them are very subtle, but the way Hanks plays the part he, damn, he's good. <laughs> Just damn, he's good. Um, it looks so real. From my personal experience, having ex having had symptoms as he's explaining them, it was very, very real. And while that might be hard for some people to watch, I think it was the closest I have ever seen to myself or our community depicted in media. Um, it was a very raw, real reaction. It's not really dramatic in most cases. It's just these moments. And the way he handles them is just real. It's just real. Um, I'm not going to blow the ending of the movie for people. Um, it, it is a sad ending, but then it's a happy ending. And I talked about this in our private group uh, at the HCMA on Facebook um, I was so moved by the story, by his depiction that I sat in the theater and bawled my eyes out and I'm not a crier and I don't cry at movies, but it was so true to an HCM family experience, the good, the bad, the funny, the, it was all there. It was all there. And in the entire movie, there is this unspoken character and the unspoken character is the HCM. It comes across as a whole element, as a whole character through the whole story. Um, as does the theme of generational grief and of human grief and suffering that is not fully understood and the need for better mental health services um, and mental health discussion. Living with a, a chronic disease, one that affects your heart, is incredibly impactful to anybody who's diagnosed. Um, we all deal with it a little bit differently. Otto dealt with it his way, but I think they did a great job of truly depicting HCM I'm I'm kind of hoping that I find out that they did some research on our old message board or some of our videos because damn, they were on. They really were on. Um, 
stay tuned. We're going to be doing some media outreach to hopefully get the HCM story told a little bit more deeply. Uh, I am hoping at some point we can speak to some of the individuals behind the movie and maybe do some other work around this to, to heighten awareness of HCM. Um, I'm even considering putting together a, a discussion group on the movie. So after people have seen the movie, there is some real deep messaging that we can uh, start talking about at the HCMA in a different way. And, and I thank them for doing such a, a great job at telling the story. The music was beautiful and it timed it so well. And it, the sound effects, um, the visuals, it's it was more than just a story of a grouchy guy who happens to have HCM. It was a beautiful movie um, of human suffering and triumph and battles. It's even a part about medical record privacy. <laughs> I mean, this book, this movie was written for me. Um, it was a phenomenal, phenomenal piece of real human story. And it spoke to myself and my family, having my dad um, lose his father when he was 17, 18 years old, um, much like Otto did, uh, really, really was, it, it hit home. It hit home in a way that no movie has ever hit home for me before. Um, so if you haven't seen it, um, go see it. Uh, my recommendation to the HCM community um, watch it and try to not be guarded to the people around you. I went alone for a reason. I wanted to have my own reaction and I didn't want to worry about my family members next to me um, and how they, it would impact them. I wanted to let it just hit me personally. Um, I know if I went with my husband, I would have been worrying like, is he okay with this? Is this too much? Um, so oddly I went alone. Um, stay tuned for maybe some other projects coming up with us. I'd love to do a screening. I'd love to have a discussion afterwards. Maybe we do it online. Maybe we do it in person. I don't know. But um, I just want to thank Tom Hanks for being amazing. I want to thank, I don't even know all the people behind the movie at this point. And I'm so sorry because I've been so excited about just trying to get the story out a little bit further that um, whoever directed it, I'm going to look it up right now because, because I, I want to give props where props are due. There he is, man called Otto. Okay, let's see. Who did this? Who are you people? You're awesome, whoever you are. Um. Oh, I have to do a review on it there. That would be really, really good. Official trailer. I have to look at the IMDb. As you can tell, this is not edited. This is not anything. Um, IMDb, let's see who you are. Okay, so the writer, David McGee, Frederick Backman, based on the novel, but the story changed from him, um, and the film. Um, John Higgins, Tony, um, I don't know, who, who are these characters? I gotta remember who everybody is. Uh, let's see, who directed it? So directed by Mark Forrester, oh, my glasses on. Um, and screenplay by David McGee. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Great job, guys. Um, and I thank you for that. And I will be reaching out to each of you. Um, looking at this whole crew, Rita Wilson, um, I heard you did the music. It was it was perfect. Um, love it. To the rest of this team, I'm not going to list everybody's names because I'm going to mutilate names. Um, Nita Backman. Celia Costas, Mark Forrester, Gary Grotzman, Tom Hanks, we know you, Tor Johnson, um, Tim King, David McGee, the rest of you, just beautiful, 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 beautiful. Um, casting, you did a great job. Um, everybody, I'm, I'm going to like write to everybody personally and thank them for this. <laughs> because you did the community a big favor. You did the world a favor by helping raise awareness of HCM. Um, and I'm not even sure that you meant to do it, but you did a beautiful job. So thank you all. Um, to anybody who wants to um, get involved with the HCMA so we can find more people with HCM, 
please visit us at 4hcm.org. We have legislative initiatives that we're trying to get out at a state level so that we can help identify more people with HCM in well-child examinations. We can find the children. We can find the families who are at risk. Um, for those of you who are not aware, February 22nd is HCM Awareness Day. Um, I encourage you all to share information about HCM. Go see this movie in honor of HCM Awareness Day. And um, also, I also encourage you to be prepared for sudden cardiac arrest. As we've just recently seen an NFL player get um, resuscitated in front of everybody at Monday Night Football. No, it wasn't HCM, but HCM is the leading cause of sudden cardiac arrest in the young. And you never know when sudden cardiac arrest is going to occur. So please be prepared and look at our drill called Dr. Heart and prepare for cardiac emergencies. So um, thank you to the cast, the crew, the actors, the everybody who did the research on this movie. Bravo. Well done. Um, I will never forget it. And I appreciate you all. And I'm hoping that maybe we can all do a little bit of work together to raise awareness and maybe save some more lives. So thank you. And uh, I really appreciate you.